I'm gonna give you five tricks that I use to get more comments on YouTube, and I guarantee you there's at least one of these that you have never heard, and we're starting right now. What is going on? My name is Nick. Welcome to another video. If this is your first time here and you want to learn how to grow your channel, make videos and all types of other YouTube related stuff, start now by subscribing and clicking the bell so you don't miss anything. Generating comments on YouTube. It can be tough. Let's be honest about it. It can be tough, especially if you're just getting started. So I'm going to tell you some tricks that I use that work like a charm to get more comments here on YouTube. And look, I'm going to be honest with you. Some of these I'm not proud of, but they work. So I'm going to tell you what they are so you can get more comments on your videos as well. The very first trick is to make an error. Hang on, stay with me. When you make errors, people love to let you know about it. It can be something that you say, it can be something that you put up on the screen, a typo of some kind. It can be really beneficial for getting more comments on your channel. As an example, as long as the data that you're sharing isn't super important and doesn't have to be super accurate, something that you can do is you can leave out a zero. And when you do that, this is what you get. Huh, 10? It's clearly a hundred. Everybody knows that it's a hundred. Or it's more like a thousand. Check your facts before you share this stuff on YouTube. The best one is when you actually say one thing, but the graphic that you have on the screen is another thing. As an example, if you say 11, but show a 13 on the screen, people are going to let you know about it. So I know that sounds completely out there and I'm curious to see the retention on this video because of it, but it works like a charm. Another thing that you can do if you are somebody that makes videos in the same setting all of the time is you can change it up. So you go and you shoot your videos somewhere else that your viewers have not seen yet. I have personally found this to generate a decent amount of comments because people are interested about the new environment. Why are you shooting there instead of shooting in your normal place and so on? Because none of your business, that's why. But seriously, viewers are either gonna love it or they're gonna hate it and a lot of them are gonna let you know. Another thing that I found effective is making a shout out video. If you make a video to where you give a shout out to a particular viewer or a handful of viewers, it seems to be really effective for people going into the comments saying, hey, shout me out, shout me out. Hey, give me a shout out, give me a shout out. But keep in mind if you do that, I don't do it anymore, but when I did do that, one thing that can happen is that it can make your comment section a little bit toxic depending on the types of people that are watching your videos. So just keep that in mind, you have been warned. Another thing you can do is you can pronounce things wrong. I kind of do this naturally, or should I say, I've been doing this naturally. But across my video library, I get a lot of comments based just on the way that I say things because people wanna let me know that they think the way that I'm saying things is incorrect. Now, if you've stuck around this far and you've gotten through the crazy but effective part of the video, I've got a power tip for you and you don't have to make a mistake or do any type of trickery in order to generate more comments using this method. If you ask your viewers a question that they can simply answer, what's going to happen is that's going to take away the difficult part of your viewer having to come up with something to say on their own. Now, I'm not saying that people are stupid and that you need to do this to trick people. What I'm saying is that if you ask your viewers a question, you're going to lead them into the comments to give that answer. You're gonna take away that difficult part of coming up with something on their own. Let me show you an example of what I mean. Remember to leave a comment. When I say that, it puts it in your lap to where you have to think about, okay, well, what am I gonna comment on? Am I gonna say something about my dog? Am I gonna say something directly related to the video? Am I gonna try to tell them to come over and watch my video? Like, what is it should I say? in the comment section. Or you can lead the viewer down into the comment section by suggesting something that they answer, like this. And real quick, if you have other tricks that you like to use to get more comments on your videos, let me know in the comments down below. Now the difference is on the second one, I'm just telling you, hey, all you have to do is just let me know if there's something that you do, then just let me know down in the comments instead of saying, just come up with something on your own. Doing it that way also helps drive the conversation in a way that you want it to go, which is advantageous. And it's just easier overall. And seriously, I do wanna say this, if you do have anything that you use, make sure that you leave it down in the comments below. But the idea is basically just to make it easier for people that are watching to participate. Also, I wanna say that if you're having trouble getting people to comment on your videos and just engage in your videos overall, I made a video, I'll put a link to it right up here. I made a video about how to increase engagement overall, all the different types of engagement on your channel. So definitely head over and check out that video right now. And if you wanna learn more about growing your channel, making videos and all types of other YouTube related stuff, start now by hitting the round subscribe icon so you don't miss anything. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.